Well, thanks for sending me your uh, your next swing in, mate. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, well, let's do this. Let's uh, let's pull up. Let's look at this one first. I'm going to zoom in on it just to show you a few key little points, all right? Because these few little things are really going to um, really going to help you, all right? Number one, number one is in the takeaway. So uh, I like your posture. Your arms hanging down. This kind of line underneath your uh, armpit is dissecting your your knees. Right, your weight looks evenly evenly balanced between your, the balls of your feet and your heels. So I like your setup, right? But it's what you're doing in this first little bit which is letting you down. All right. Now you can see there, right? Just that little bit there. Look how much look how much roll there is in your hand, right? And look how much this club face opens up. All right. So look at the Look at, look at all the space between your between your arms, all right? And look how open the club face is already. Okay, so so if that's a, a line across your toe line, really your your hands are kind of coming a little bit outside of your toe line, aren't they? If you watch the direction of your hands here, there you go. So it's almost like you you you're flicking the club face open instead of dragging your hands back inside all right so what do i mean by that well um let me pull up a, a model uh, good uh, good one i use is a guy named uh, charlie wee okay so um, if you watch put a line across his toe line put a line across your toe line all right and then watch the direction of his hands, you can see that his hands are coming back inside of his toe line. Okay, so it's almost like he's, it's almost like in this position, okay, so his hands are moving back inside of his toe line that way, all right, but when you stop him here, Look how his right hand is more on top of his left hand. Look how that right hand here is more on top. Whereas what you do is you flick it open there, right, and your right hand is right kind of underneath it. Kind of your left hand's kind of rolling over this way a little bit. You see the difference? So what I want you to do is I, I just want you to feel, right, put it, this is called the T-peg drill, put a T-peg in the top of the club, focus on the T-peg, be aware of the T-peg, and I want this T-peg to almost drag inside of your toe line and almost just shave your right thigh here. It won't, it won't hit your right thigh because your right hip is going to be moving back behind you, right, and that's what we'll talk about in a second, but you can see... You know, I want your hands moving this way, whereas your hands are moving more out this way, kind of outside of your toe line. And also look how much space there is underneath you, in between your arms, whereas, you know, his, his left arm is very close to his, to his body as he does this. You know, as you do it, as your hands move up this way, look how, look how that just kind of, your left arm isn't, isn't, isn't attached to your body anymore, all right? So that's the best way to think about your takeaway, all right? And then the, the takeaway, obviously, is going to dictate the rest of the backswing, right? If we can, we can drag your hands inside more, inside your toe line, all right? And then let your hands drag your arms, your arms drag your torso, your torso drags your you know, your shoulders and your hips around, right? So your back now is facing the target, right? We're going to get up to here, whereas what you're doing is that we're severely lacking in uh, in turn, all right? So the best way to let me pull up your other swing that you sent me. We'll zoom in on this as well. And then we'll pull up another, uh, another model. Um, yeah, it's called Rocky. I'm using Rocky a lot lately, but it's a good example, right? So 
when you when you start moving and all, and also I want to I want to quickly talk about how you've got your right hand on the club there right and I don't think just by zooming in here that your right hand is on the club properly all right so what do I mean by that well the first joint of your trigger finger right there has to be on the side of the handle. It's almost you're almost kind of just forming a little a little nook with your with the first joint of your trigger finger. I think the first joint of your trigger finger, by the look of that photo, is too much underneath the handle. Okay, so maybe maybe feel as though your right hand is coming is wrapped over this way a bit more. Okay, and then that way, I think the first joint of your trigger finger will be able to get on the side of the handle a bit more. All right, and that's important because we need we need your hands on properly. We need your right hand on well, both hands, but you know, just by the look of it, there it looks like your left, your right hand, your trigger finger isn't placed on the club properly. All right, now decent setup. I'd like to see these knees out a bit more, right, rather than inwards. I think we spoke about that last time. I want your knees going out more than in you can see Robert Rock here. Robert Rock's a uh, European tour player, right? But you can see how his knees are going outwards. His, his toes are flared out, right? And it looks like your toes are flared out. But I also want to see your knees flared out as well. Okay, both of them. All right, mate. And then with regards to your movement. Yeah, and, and there's, ju there's just there's just a severe lack of, of rotation going on, right? There's a there's not much turn going on here, and there's not much turn going on here. Well, let me pull up a uh, let me pull up a better example, someone who you can uh, really try and emulate, right? So so let's think about so that's that that's your hip turn and that's your shoulder turn now. I want you to try and feel in your setup like you've got a little bit more weight in your left leg, all right, like this guy. This is a guy named Troy Matterson, plays on the PGA Tour. And if we draw a line here, just outside his right leg, I want you to watch just how his right leg starts to straighten, all right, his right leg straightening this way, his right hips moving back behind him this way. His tailbone's moving to the left this way. And if you can achieve that much hip turn, right, you're going to be able to get that much shoulder turn, right? But the big point here is look at the space he's made from that red line. Imagine that red line's a wall, right? And your job is to move your right hip away from that wall all right like that so every time you video yourself i want you to really kind of straighten this right leg up i want this right hip moving back behind you this way all right and if we do the same with you we'll draw a little line up outside your right leg all right You can see your right hips actually moving closer to that red line, right? It's moving closer to the wall, right? Another good drill would be if you put a line on the ground here in, in, in line with the wall, right? Put a head cover in, in, the, in the bottom of your um, trousers here to, in your, on your back, right? Let me uh, show you what I mean. So if you put a little head cover here, right, in your trousers, put a line on the ground here, your job in your backswing is to move your tailbone to the left of this line on the ground, right? This is the same guy, just a rear view. So look at his tailbone, look how it's moving to the left that way. Right, so this would be the wall which he's moving away from. And look how he's moving that way, okay? So that's what I want you to try and uh, emulate in your backswing, all right? So Good little drill there, get a line on the ground, get a, get a head cover in your tail, where your tailbone is, and move your tailbone to the left, 
and get this right leg straightening up this way. All right. When you go back, this right hip actually moves closer to this line. There, you see that? So that straight away restricts your hip turn, which is restricting your upper body turn. So the problem, the problem is getting your right hip more back behind you. Can can you know? Let's get your let's get your other swing up, right? So there's your knee flex. Yeah, so there's not there's not much straightening going on with your right leg, is there? I mean, you pretty much kept flex in your right knee there. I want you to straighten it. I want you to commit to straightening it. Get it going back this way. Get it going this way. Try and try and put pressure into your left leg and under your left foot, all right? Because your tailbone and your right hip is now going more this way. That'll free your hips up. That'll make your hips turn more. And, and you'll actually start to get this left shoulder more underneath your chin on the backswing, which means you'll have turned more, which means your arm will be up here and the club will be somewhere up here. All right. So I hope that makes sense, Herb. Um, I'm going to put this uh, in your locker, in your members area. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the message centre and we'll, uh, I'll answer any questions for you. All right, bud. Speak to you soon.